Good morning, my loves. So I woke up to a DM asking why I haven't been doing my coffee chats lately. Um, and I've just been pretty busy. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a short little coffee chat this morning and share it with you guys. I shall not be on camera because uh, I am in my Halloween onesie. And yes, I'm trying to embrace fall. I'm trying to embrace uh, pumpkin spice and all that is, you know, involved in the season of autumn which is lots of rain here in the pacific northwest so yeah i'm gonna try to just uh change my mindset and be more positive about that and uh we'll see how that goes y'all anyhow um oh oops so i think i showed you on my other video so my coffee this morning is my protein coffee i use half a container of the caramel premier po protein and then my coffee and a little splash of heavy cream there's my water bottle. Um, and then I did, let me come over here. I did use this product. So these people sent me this to try and kind of give my um, opinion on. So let me just put this in here for a minute. Um, and I actually really love it. I would totally use this for, especially for travel. If you're trying to um, go hiking or do something where you just need a little bit of an energy boost in your coffee and your morning coffee. Um, I would say my next hiking adventure with my besties, I'm going to for sure bring this. So um, if you guys want to try this, their IG is, you know, catching ketones. And I'm sure you can contact them to purchase. It's really good. So anyway, yeah, trying to really just be back on point with my nutrition. Definitely make sure I'm getting in enough protein because otherwise all the weight training I'm doing is not going to build the muscle like I'm trying to do. Um, but the thing that I wanted to come on and talk about with my coffee chat this morning is feedback okay it's feedback from family and friends it could be feedback from your mom your dad your sister your spouse your friends like whoever it is and so i just want to caution you guys consider the source okay and that sounds kind of strange or whatever but it's kind of like when someone's giving you feedback or someone's criticizing you or someone's coming at you with some kind of a judgment on what you're doing how you're living your life whether you're eating keto how many times you're at the gym, you know, whatever it is, is kind of like, I always tell people, and I tell my coaching clients this phrase, consider the source, okay? Consider the source means look at the person who is criticizing you and giving you this feedback and ask yourself, is this feedback really about you or is this feedback about them, okay? And so I will share a little story with you guys. So when I first was keto and I was trying to lose weight and stuff. I had a lot of people who were like very concerned as I'm sure you guys know. They're so concerned about, oh, you're eating all this bacon, you're eating so much fat, like that's not gonna be good for you. That's gonna like damage your arteries. It's gonna give you heart disease, you know? And I'm gonna take that feedback a lot more seriously if it's someone who is coming from a place who's actually done the research and who actually has tried keto, okay? Who might actually know what they're talking about, right? If it's somebody who is living a lifestyle that's, let's just say, not very inspiring or not motivating, it's like, I'm going to consider that source. And I'm going to say, you know, maybe their feedback is more about them. And maybe it's more about their, for whatever reason, they're not able to make that connection and, and change the way they're eating and get more active. And so rather than look in the mirror and face that, they're going to focus on what I'm doing. And they're going to give me feedback on what I'm doing and what I shouldn't be doing and how what I'm doing is dangerous and blah, 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 okay? And I'm not trying to be negative or shitty or any of that, guys, but I'm just saying to you that when you start your weight loss journey, when you start your fitness journey, whatever you're trying to accomplish, okay, I know from personal experience, there is always gonna be somebody, there's always gonna be probably at least one or two people who are gonna shit on you, who are gonna try to talk you out of it, who are gonna try to tell you that keto is not safe, and keto is not healthy. And, you know, going to the gym that many days a week is, you know, that's not good for you. And, you know, you're always going to have people that are doing that, guys. And that's when, if you follow me, you know that I always talk about my tribe. I always tag my besties, my gym wifey, my trainer, Jake, the owner of my gym. Like, why do I talk about these people? Why do I mention them? Why do I give them shout outs all the time? Why? Because those are my people. Those are the people who inspire me. Those are the people where... When I wake up in the morning and for whatever reason I'm feeling like shit or I'm feeling depressed or I've got all this stuff ahead of me and I'm just feeling overwhelmed, those are the people when I open my phone, you know, when I open my phone and I see Yellen and she's like, hey, we're doing an 8.30 workout this morning. I'm getting coffee. Are you on the way? That's why. 
Those are the people I tag. Those are the people that I give shout outs to. That's why I want anybody who's local to come and try my gym because I know it has changed my life. I know 200% it has absolutely changed my life, guys. And it's because the people you surround yourself with will elicit out of you the person you want to be. They will elicit. They will pull it out of you. It'll just naturally happen when you find your tribe, when you find those people that cause you to dig in deeper and push yourself and try things that you never thought you'd try.